as shown on the screen, the board pins are labeled according to their functions. The pins can be divided into main functions as analog pins and as a digital pins. There are 16 analog input pins, those shaded in yellow, labeled from pin A0 to pin A15. Each pin provides a 10 bit of input resolution that is a range of 1024 different values from 0 volt to 5 volts. Next, there are 54 digital input and output pins. They are labeled from pin 0 to pin 13 from pin 14 to pin 21 from pin 22 all the way down to pin 53 all shaded in green are all digital input and output pins digital pin can perform other functions when called or configured in the Arduino software they are as follows starting with pulse width modulation or analog output the board provides 14 analog output from pin 0 to pin 13 each pin provides 8 bit of resolution that is in range of 256 different values from 0 to 5 volts the output can be sent using an analog write in the Arduino software. Next, serial data communication. The board provides for UART serial data communication to be configured in Arduino software. Each serial uses the following pins. Pin 0 to receive data, pin 1 to transmit data. Serial 1 uses pin 19 to receive data and pin 18 to transmit data. Serial 2 uses pin 17 to receive data and pin 16 to transmit data. Serial 3 uses pin 15 to receive data and pin 14 to transmit data. Take note serial 0 is utilized by the board for serial data communication via a USB interface. The uh, digital pin supports I2C communication. This can be configured using the wire library of the Arduino software. Can be set at pin 20 as the data line and pin 21 as the uh, clock line. Digital pin supports serial peripheral interface or SPI communication. Using the SPI library of the Arduino software and can be configured at pin 50 the MISO at pin 51 the MOSI pin 52 the SCK and pin 53 SS once SPI is already configured the board can communicate with different serial peripheral device over a short distance. Using one of the digital pin, the board provides six external hardware interrupt, which can be configured on Arduino software on the following pins. External interrupt 0 to pin 2, external interrupt 1 to pin 3. 
external interrupt to to pin 21 external interrupt 3 to pin 20 external interrupt 4 to pin 19 and external interrupt 5 to pin 18 using software a hardware interrupt can be enabled using the command attach interrupt open and close parentheses and to disable interrupt use the command unattach interrupt open and close parentheses now on timers using digital pin there are six timers functionality available on the arduino mega now zooming in Now on timer 0, timer 0 by default is configured to pin 4 and pin 13. Timer 0 has an 8-bit resolution. Timer 0 by default is used by the uh, software on its timing operation such as the function delay, millis, and micros. Take note, care must be taken when experimenting with timer 0 to avoid undesirable outcome. Next is timer 1 with 16-bit resolution, uses pin 11 and pin 12 when configured in the Arduino software. The tone library of the software uses timer 1 when the function is active. Next is timer 2 with 8 bit of resolution utilizes pin 9 and pin 10 timer 2 is used by the servo library when the servo function is active next is time 3 timer 3 utilizes pin 2 pin 3 and pin 5 timer 3 is not in any way attached to the software so it is free to use without any conflict same with timer 4 with 16-bit resolution utilize pin 6 7 and 8 when the timer 4 is active And the last is timer 5. Timer 5 utilizes pin 44, pin 45, and pin 46. Like the timer 3 and 4, timer 5 is free from the Arduino library software. Now for timing sensitive application. It is best advised to use either timer 3, timer 4, and timer 5. Timer 1 and timer 2 may be used at a time when it is not attached to its default function such as the tone library and the servo library respectively. Now we are ready to identify the power pin connections of the board. All shaded in red are power pin connections. As you can see around the board you have access to power source or grounds. You have two grounds here. If we are following the arrow cursor. You have another 5 volts of output here and another ground connections here. So you have power pin headers, so we're going to zoom in. So in this power headers, you have voltage input, you have two grounds, you have 5 volt source and 3.3 volt source. 
you can use voltage input uh, connectors to power the board in the absence of the uh, normal power source like the uh, power jack and the USB adapter. 